Good morning, CrossFit NOLA community. Uh, welcome to Wednesday. Um, our WAD today is Orphan Annie. I have to admit, I, I don't know if there is an Orphan Annie WAD. I just thought that putting the word orphan in front of Annie made sense. Um, and it is a twist on the CrossFit benchmark workout named Annie. And we'll get to it in a second, but there's a movement added to the traditional Annie um, couplet. Our general warm up today is going to be six minutes, 45 seconds of jump rope, five ankle bias split squats. It's just going to be kind of a lunge or a squat in place with a staggered stance where you're trying to bias ankle mobility on your forward leg. As I'm descending here, I want to keep my knee over uh, the, the toe or slightly to the outside of the toe. I'm going to push forward, creating a sharper angle in my ankle and I'm gonna push forward as far as I can until I feel my heel start to come off the ground. So I don't want the heel to come off. I wanna keep the heel loaded, but I wanna push the knee as far forward, keeping it in that good position in line with the foot, stretching out the ankle, and then driving up through the heel to stand. Um, six to eight sit-ups with the new standard, which is gonna be the standard that CrossFit headquarters used um, a couple of weeks ago in the support your box workout, which is gonna be your hands cannot reach over your head and your feet cannot be anchored. You can do either one of those things to scale an RX sit up. Um, and then we'll do 10 leg swings in each direction. Uh, we have some skill development today for the pistol. The pistol is gonna be the new movement that's included in the uh, spin off of Annie. Um, so our pistol development today will just be three parts. We'll go through them two times. We'll do five narrowing stance squats, starting from a traditional squat stance and ending up with your feet together. Five step downs from the box per leg, and those are gonna be our, our general center of mass adjustment step downs where we're kind of leaning and reaching towards our support leg to practice that. And then six to eight deck squats. If you've mastered the deck squat and you're working on your single leg deck squats, you can practice single leg deck squats there. It brings us to the workout Orphan Annie. It's gonna be like Annie, except we're gonna add pistols. Annie has a descending rep scheme, so for fun, we're gonna ascend the reps of the pistols. So you'll do 50 double unders, 50 sit-ups, and then four pistols. And then you'll do 40 double unders, 40 sit-ups, and eight pistols. So at the end, you'll end up doing 10 double unders, 10 sit-ups, and then you'll finish with 20 pistols. And these pistols are total. So in the first round where you see four, it's two per leg and we're gonna alternate reps. So we're gonna go left, right, left, right to get us those four pistols. And then when we go to eight, we'll go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, I think. Razzle dazzle. Uh, to get to eight. But the point is that we're gonna alternate those, uh, those movements there. Um, one of the things that's gonna happen here is the hip flexors are gonna get kind of burnt from the sit up. So if you can kind of hold yourself to the standard of not holding your foot on the pistol, you're gonna kind of feel that core stimulus a little bit exaggerated there. Um, Annie uh, takes people anywhere between five and 10 minutes, depending on how proficient their double unders are. And we have, let's see, 48, we have 60 pistols added. So if you're cranking out 12 a minute, that's not so bad. So that's five minutes plus 10 minutes. I think we're sub 15 here. Um, and then I think fast people might even be close to, to eight or nine. So uh, let us know, oh, I'm sorry, the cool down. We have uh, two rounds of a Cobra pose to kind of reopen up the abs, a foot smash with a lacrosse ball or a PVC in the arch of the foot, and then a loaded dorsiflexin stretch to kind of help out with our ankle mobility um, with all the lower leg contractions from the double unders and the pistols you did today. Now. 
Let us know how you did on the workout. Take some videos. I hope the double unders are progressing and um, I hope the pistols are progressing. I think Jeff had um, both of these uh, movements came out in our movement breakdown. So you'll be able to kind of look back on our YouTube channel and get some tips and tricks for both the double unders and the pistols. Um, have a great week and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.